Hi everyone, you know me as Cool Light Gunner on YouTube and today I want to show you how to install CSS skins, maps, sounds and just basically mods. So we want to go to Google and we're here at Game Banana. So for example, I want to download this MP5 skin. So manual download. Download. And it's going to start downloading hopefully. No, it did not. And for example, we just look up what we want like that and for example if I want a new Phoenix skin we go here and here are the old, all the Phoenix skins so we're doing an mp5 so what you want to also do is go to Steam right click on CSS, CSS local files browse local files C strike custom so you want to create a folder with the mod name you want whatever you want to name it I personally name it something of what it is so now we open the RAR file. Here it is. And now we go here to MP5. We drag all these folders here. And that should be it. And we're done. Now for maps, what you want to do is go to maps. And then you just drag the nav and the map itself. If it has a nav. Nav being... A custom navigation mesh for bots to know where to go instead of getting stuck somewhere sometimes they do and it's kind of a pain so this is where you drag them and that's it but for sounds and that includes radio and footsteps you just want to drop it in here in custom for example my radio now you want to look for a format that is scripts and sounds. sounds being the sounds themselves and scripts being what the game will tell the mod what sounds it will use so that's how it is formatted of course I don't know how to do scripts so that's beyond me so now we want to go into game and make sure that it's working skip that we go mods do work on servers being custom skins maps don't work unless you create your own server so let's go here and let's do for example militia it's simple so i'm gonna go to game and i'm gonna give myself to the star money to do 2000 and we start so skins do work in multiplayer servers from what i know in every server they work so there's no problem that includes custom sounds weapon skins animations for weapon skins being the view models not the world models and player skins including custom ones like adding something to the skin and not just a retexture so if it replaces the models themselves, those also work. So that should be fine. There's no fear about that. As we load. So we go OK. We get faction. And now we will do the buy menu. And hopefully it works. This is the MP5. That is it. Of course you can do hand textures as well. Alright. It works. That is the animation. Everything's working correctly. We quit game. Now, a quick tip, if something isn't working, like a player skin, let's take a player skin, for example, you want to make sure that it's formatted correctly. So if it's just the sounds or something like that, you want to go create a new folder for it. So for example, player skins, materials, models, player, and then the character, which would be TR tick in this case. And then you want to make sure that everything is in there, the VTF files. And for weapons, you want to do, let's take the block, which is the Glock. Models, weapons, those are the view models and world models. And then materials, models, weapons. You have those as well. Script sounds, all that jazz. For example, if they don't work, you want to get to, let me close these, a VPK. VPK being the format that source games use. So, for example, we just drag this folder in there and it should create it into a VPK. There we go. There's our VPK. So, we just drag it into the custom root. So, the custom folder. And it should work. Hopefully, this helped you in installing CSS skins. I love installing them and uh, most of the videos were super outdated. So, any questions you have, I will try to help you in the comment section. So, hope you enjoyed. And have a nice day.
Bye.